Hey folks, just on my way back from the polling station, cast my vote in the general election. This has been a fun one, hasn't it? I think when Theresa May called this one, she had a few objectives, we could all see them. She had to prove herself to be a strong and stable leader. She had to crush any opposition within her own party, to allow her to push through her hard Brexit and any other policies that she might like to throw in, like scrapping the Human Rights Act or tearing down what's left of the NHS and the welfare state. And, you know, kicking Labour into the dirt, which is a, a nice side effect as well, given that they were the, the broken opposition. It's not quite worked out like that, has it? She's shown herself to be a weak and wobbly leader. Unable to take on debates, unable to answer many questions thrown at her. But hasn't Jeremy Corbyn done well? Hasn't he just? Hasn't he regalvanised that party down south? People comparing this to the the victory of 1997, the wave of public enthusiasm that took the country in a completely different direction then. Well, well hopefully, not quite the same direction this time, eh? Some of you might have read my Democratic Dilemma post on my blog just prior to the elections. I have to say I, I still stand by a lot of what I said in that. Uh, I still believe in Jeremy Corbyn's manifesto, most of it. I'm not so keen on his opposition to independence I'm, or his wobbliness on that. I'm definitely not so keen on his capitulation to the party over Trident. There's a few other things. But on the whole, I have to say, if I was in England, I wouldn't be voting Jeremy Corbyn today. Up here's a different story, though. It's a completely different landscape up here in Scotland, and especially in my own constituency. I've only ever had a bit of any contact with one candidate, the SNP candidate, Lisa Cameron, and I have to say for that, she got my vote today. Uh, the other two major parties, Labour and the Tories didn't seem to care about this election at all. Absolutely not a word from them. Uh, possibly because they're both serving councillors, just voted in in the last elections last month, probably getting on with a day job, as they should. Of course, it'll be different in our constituencies. And I think everyone has to come to their own choices there. I have to say that even if I was in a, a, a Labour marginal Scotland, as much as I like Corbyn's manifesto, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I just don't trust Scottish Labour. I don't trust Kezia Dugdale and her team to carry through that manifesto. They've shown their opposition to Corbyn too many times. I'll be posting something in the blog later on this afternoon, probably with my meagre attempts at vote, vote prediction. There's certainly a few seats I want to watch. Uh, just south of here there's Dumfrieshire, Clydesdale, Tweedsdale, David Mundell. Will he be able to see off the very strong challenger in the, in the SNP's Mary McAllen? If there's anyone who deserves to win that seat, it's her. Good luck, Mary. Up in the islands there's Orkney and Shetland. Will Alistair Carmichael hold on? Who knows? Could be up, could be an upset up there. Hello. We've got Edinburgh South, which, by all accounts, should be a Labour Tory marginal right now. By all accounts, the Tories could very well win that seat. But I've heard that they're not really campaigning up there, and I wonder why. Could be an easy scalp for them, but are the Tories not willing to be the one that finally finishes off the? Labour contingent in Scotland? Who knows, we'll find out tomorrow. So, a very soggy Clydesdale, very soggy Craig. Good luck, get out and vote, we'll see you at the results.